Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will be creating a stylish echo typography text effect in After Effects. Let's begin by creating a new composition and naming it Echo Text Effect. Choose the HD 1920 by 1080 preset, set the frame rate to 25 frames per second and the duration to 10 seconds. Ensure the background color is black, then click OK. Next, right-click in the timeline, go to New, and select Solid Layer. You can pick any color, but I will use white. Name this layer Background, and confirm your choices. With the Solid Layer selected, go to Effects and Presets, search for Gradient Ramp, and drag this effect onto the solid. Choose any colors you like. I'll select a dark bluish or perhaps purple, then pick a second slightly darker, matching color. Adjust the gradient points to achieve a rich depth effect. Once complete, select the solid layer again and search for the noisy vignette effect in the Effects and Presets panel. Double-click to apply it. Next, search for Posterize. Drag this effect to the solid and adjust the posterize level according to your background. I'll use a value between 8 and 15. You can also decrease the noise to around 5 and set the vignette effect to about 80% for a refined look. Now select the type tool and enter your desired text. Then align it to the center of the composition and ensure the anchor point is also centered. Open the text properties, select animate, and choose the tracking option. With the playhead at the start, enable keyframing for the tracking amount, and set the value to around 150, or play with the settings. I'll set it at about 100. Move the playhead forward by 2 to 3 frames, and change the value to 0. This creates a sleek animation effect. Select both keyframes, press F9 for easy ease, and open the speed graph editor to adjust the motion curve, giving you smooth animation. Refine the keyframes further if you wish to adjust the effect's timing. Next, right-click the text layer and select Pre-Compose, then click OK. Duplicate this pre-composed layer twice by pressing Ctrl D. Turn off the visibility of the top layer, select the second layer, and set the track mat of the third text layer to the second text layer using the Luma Mat option. While holding Shift, select the two text layers, right-click, and pre-compose them again. Now turn the top layer back on, select it, and search for Echo Effect in Effects and Presets. Drag this effect onto the top layer, set the echo time to around negative 0.023, the number of echoes to approximately 16, and the decay value to about 0.70. Then search for the fill effect, apply it to the top layer and choose a color. I'll go for a bright, possibly dark yellow. With both effects applied, select and copy them. Then select the first text layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste the effects, changing the fill color to a tone you prefer, such as black or gray. Duplicate the layer once more and change the color to a dark yellow if desired. This will create an appealing echo text effect. Render your composition for smooth playback, and you'll see the final result. The free project file link is available in the description below. That concludes today's video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.